Hey everyone, welcome to another video. From today onwards that we are going to post videos based on the UGC forensic syllabus with extra MCQs on each topic. Let's get started. Forensic science is the application of scientific principles and techniques to the investigation of crimes and the administration of justice. It involves the collection, preservation, analysis and presentation of evidence in legal proceedings. Coming to the objectives of forensic science, the first one is establish facts, second is assist justice and the third is crime prevention. So now let's see some MCQs on the topic introduction to forensic science. So coming to the very first question, which of the following forensic disciplines involves the study of insects to determine the time of death in a crime? Option A, forensic toxicology, option B, forensic anthropology, option C, forensic entomology and option D, forensic pathology. Now you can just pause the video and think about the answer. So the correct answer for this question is option C. And coming to the second question is, the term forensic is derived from which of the following Latin word referring to the public debate or discussion? Option A, foris, option B, forum, option C, force, option D, forism. The correct answer for this question is option B, which is forum. Coming to the third question, who was known as the father of modern forensic science for his pioneering work in bloodstain pattern analysis? Option A, Sir Alex Jeffrey. Option B, Orphelia. Option C, Hans Gross. Option D, Dr. Edmond Lockhart. So the correct answer for this question is option D, which is Dr. Edmond Lockhart. So next question is, the discovery of which forensic technique revolutionized criminal investigation and is now one of the most important methods for identifying individuals in forensic science. Option A, fingerprinting analysis. Option B, blood typing. Option C, DNA profiling. And option D, ballistic analysis. So the correct answer for this question is option C, which is DNA profiling. And coming to the fifth question, which forensic scientist is credited with the first use of fingerprints to solve the criminal case in Argentina in the early 20th century? Option A, Francis Galton. Option B, William. Option C, Juan. Option D, Bertillon Alphonse. The correct answer for this question is option C, which is Juan. So coming to the sixth question, the concept of Lockhart's exchange principle suggests that option A, every person has a unique fingerprint. Option B, a criminal will always leave behind trace evidence at the crime scene. Option C, the DNA evidences cannot be collected from blood. Option D, a crime scene must be immediately cleaned to avoid contamination. So the correct answer for this question is option B, which is a criminal will always leave behind the trace of evidences at the crime scene. So coming to the next question is, which of the following forensic science uh, subdiscipline specifically deals with the study of bone and skeletal remains to determine, identify or the cause of death? Option A, forensic pathology. Option B, forensic anthropology. Option C, forensic toxicology. And option D, forensic entomology. So the correct answer for this question is option B. And coming to the next question is, which of the following principle of forensic science is most important in ensuring that evidences is not stamped with or altered after it has been collected from a crime scene. Option A, chain of custody. Option B, scientific analysis. Option C, forensic evidence integrity. And option D, evidence sampling protocol. So the correct answer for this question is option A, which is chain of custody. So coming to the ninth question, which of the following early developments in the forensic science was first used in criminal investigation by Dr. Edmund Lockhart? Option A, fingerprint identification. Option B, which is toxicology analysis. Option C, blood stain pattern analysis. And option D, crime scene investigation technique. The correct answer for this question is option D, which is crime scene investigation technique. So coming to next question is, which famous case was the first to use DNA evidence as a central piece of forensic evidence to exonerate a wrongful convicted individual. Option A, O.J. Simpson case. Option B, the Gulford Ford case. Option C, the Colin Pitford case. And option D, the Lidberg kidnapping. So the correct answer for this question is option C, which is the Colin Pitford case. So coming to next question is, in forensic science, the concept of scientific neutrality refers to which of the following? Option A, the ability of a forensic scientist to remain impartial and not influenced by the defense or prosecution. Option B, the use of forensic science only in court case. Option C, the use of modern technology in forensic science. And option D, the requirement to avoid discussing case publicly. The correct answer for this question is option A. 
So coming to question number 12, the practice of identifying people based on the measurement of a body part called anthropometry was developed by option A, Sir William Hersley, option B, Alphonse Bertillon, option C, Francis Galton and option D, Edward Henry. So the correct answer for this question is option B, which is Alphonse Bertillon. Option A, United States, 1923. Option B, France, 1912. Option C, United Kingdom, 1900. And option D, Argentina, 1905. So the correct answer for this question is option A, which is United States, 1923. So coming to the 14 questions, which of the following is considered trace evidence? Option A, glass fragments. Option B, hair strands. Option C, fiber samples. And option D, all of the above. So the correct answer for this question is option D, which is all of the above. Coming to the 15th question, forensic scientists use ballistic evidence to analyze option A, chemical composition of drug, option B, the trajectory of bullets, option C, DNA sequence and option D, computer files. The correct answer for this quiz is option B, which is the trajectory of bullets. So that's all for today's video. I hope you people enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you soon.